but you and I don't work. We worked in Cali. No, we didn't. <laughs> so, the winch of Christmas past is finally gone, although we're not out of the woods yet since apparently she's running to tabloids or something. But regardless, our rock star ex-boyfriend, now that he dumped her, we're kind of getting close with him again. Holly's been getting a little cozy with him for this Christmas season, so we're gonna see if this steams up or if it's gonna fizzle out, but I hope you're ready for some more Christmas drama. When Holly left me, I came down with something known as the Hollywood Blues. It's a common thing with new stars and the reason many celebrities battle addictions. I was heartbroken, homesick, and the loneliest I've ever been in my life. Luckily, I had a manager with a smart head on her shoulders. Amy didn't let me go down a dark path, but I did end up making one minor idiotic decision. What did you do? And that was clear, Ronaldo. Yes. Minor, though, I would say major. But we'll, we'll stick with minor just for you, even though it's really major. But that's okay. She became an easy escape to my problems, and I took advantage of that. I'm not proud to say I used her. It's fine. It's really done. It's fine. But I was done nursing that mistake. Holly was right. It was time I brought back the old Noel. Getting rid of Claire was the first step. <laughs> He's on the road to recovery, first step. Actually, second. First was dumping her. Second's getting her to the airport, saying bye-bye. And then we're moving on. Group A on flight 502, you may now board your plane. And that's you. I'm sorry you came all the way down here for nothing. Don't even apologize. See, just let her go. Bye-bye. Just walk away. Do you hate me? I don't hate anyone, Claire. But you and I don't work. We worked in Cali. No, we didn't. <laughs> I love how you know what, got a list some honesty. To be completely honest, I've never gotten over Holly. Yet I went out with you anyways, and that was wrong. For that, I truly am sorry. No, he's not. And that's perfectly okay. So are you going to try and win her back? Maybe, maybe not, but I need to be on my own to figure it out. You know, I'm sorry too. I'm glad to hear you. I'm sorry that you're passing up an award-winning actress for a coffee shop owner. See, she wasn't going to be nice at all. S see, she's garbage. Have a nice flight, Claire. Bye-bye. Get out. Don't come back. Soon you'll see just how sorry I am. What are you going to do? It's going to backfire, no matter what you do. Tomorrow would mark one week since the Christmas party, and I hadn't run into Noel since. This sucks. She looks good, though. Maybe his heartbreak... His heart break up with Claire is affecting him more than I thought. I really hope I see him soon. We're going to do that one. I don't know if we're not going to be the shoulder to cry on. Mm -mm, we don't do that. But we will be there for him. In other ways. I really hope I see him soon. It's been fun having him around. Of course it has. Holly, there's a customer asking for you. Please be him. And they don't sound too happy. Oh, great. Thanks, Rochelle. I'll check it out. Who is this? Hi, Mrs. Underwood. Can I get you anything? Why are you? I'm afraid I'm not here for coffee. You're way past the due on payments for the coffee shop. It's been a rough year, but we're shaping up. Let me cut to the chase. Recovering this coffee shop is a hopeless dream, miss. Say your last goodbyes to the shop and prepare to have it shut down on Christmas. You're seriously going to destroy my dead mother's dream on Christmas? If you can find some miracle before Christmas, so be it. Otherwise, your shop is done. That's a bit short notice, don't you think? Until Christmas. That's it? Hey, sunshine. She's gonna regret that. Yikes, rough day. You have no idea. Mrs. Underwood told me I have until Christmas to make all the payments on the shop. Oh, if you can't, does that mean I don't even want to think about it? Oh no, I'm so sorry, Ollie. Three, two, one. Action. Okay, so this is a little documentary. Welcome to Littleton High where I went to high school. I can't wait to tell you about all the memories I made in these halls. First, follow me to the science lab. Okay, so I wonder if he's going to use this documentary to save Holly's shop. All right, now we pour the vegetable oil in the beaker. You're cute when you talk science. Yeah, I know I'm adorable. She knows. You don't got to tell her. Smart and funny, no wonder I'm in love with you. What? What I say? Oh, they weren't even at that level yet. That's the first time you said I love you. 
oh, well, this is awkward. No, it's not, because I love you too. Oh, they have a little the real chemistry there, if you know what I mean. And they're back. God, I haven't been able to get Holly out of my mind since the holiday party. I almost invited her to come today. I'm sure she'd geek out about the whole filming process, but I want to give her the space she needs. Hello, Earth to Noel. Right, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Are we not the star here? What? What are you people doing? We're gonna have to reshoot this scene. Try to make it interesting this time. We could beat you up, that'll be interesting. Sure, let's run it again. And here's our library. It's a little small, but it has some of my favorite books. Small, it's miniature. My school had a library ten times the size of Sned. Get out, you're fired. We're gonna have to green screen all of this. My school had a library ten times the size of this. My school had... Holly. Oh, he's upset. He's reminiscing about everything. You still haven't found it? No one I've seen in the entire library. Mrs. Barnes said that the book of Frank Capra's screenplays was in this section. It's really stressing me out that I can't find it. I bet I can help with that. <laughs> this library turned into something else. Noel Evans, what are you doing? Shh. Um... <laughs> If y'all get caught by that librarian, Mrs. Barnes is on the other side of the shelves. Then we'll just have to be quiet. Oh, you're bad. You like it. Yeah, clearly she does. Noel. N Ned, leave. Can we just fire him? Why are you screaming? You totally zoned out. He couldn't wait another five seconds. Just fire him. All right, that's a wrap for the school finally. What a dump. Please fire him. He's been talking badly about Littleton all day. We'd have less retakes if he stopped interrupting. It's not my fault this place is so boring. Who is he anyway? Late Nighters is our last stop. Okay, that's his, like, one of his favorite places. All right, so what's the vision? We're going to do a music video here since this is where you were discovered. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I can reenact the night. It'll be an intimate performance. No, are you insane? You'll bore everyone asleep. We'll put <laughs> hot girls in the crowd. You're performing one of your newer songs. We'll even have you come flying in from the ceiling wearing a skin tight leather suit with wings. Uh, you have to be kidding me. Ned's vision for this is ridiculous. There's no heart or authenticity to it at all. But I don't know who does. Holly's always wanted to be a director. I don't care if this is going to make waves in the media. I'm taking it off this scene and I'm giving it to Holly. Ned, you're off this scene. Thank you. I'm giving it to someone else to direct. Someone I know will bring her full heart and vision to it. Are you serious? Dead serious. Now go. Fine. Good luck with your lullaby. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Holly's always wanted to be a director. She was even in film school but didn't finish because her mom passed away. Today I'm making sure she gets a shot to live out her dream. Or am I gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? Noel? Holly? I have a proposition for you. So what's your proposition, Holly? I want you to direct a music video for my documentary. Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything. You're the best person for this job, Holly. You're so talented and you bring authenticity to everything you create. This scene is so important, only you can do it justice. You're gonna blow it out of the water. I believe in you. Noel's offering me, yes, you're gonna do it. Let's rock this documentary. We'll show Hollywood how it's done. Hell yes. But first, let me get out of this uniform. Oh, she really went into a brand new uniform. I don't even know what she's serving with this. She's kind of actually serving librarian in a different type of video, but she's ready. I like it. The video should have an intimate feel to it since that's how it was that night. I'm thinking an acoustic song choice with some soft light and a close-up shot. What do you think? Perfect. Just what I was thinking. Great. Let's get started. Okay, so they're rocking it. She looks like a queen right now. They're gonna do it action. Okay, you're my sky, you're my moon. I can't go on without you. Mm-hmm, I'm not singing this. My turtle dove. Okay, so this is his first single. 
on the night so long ago, it was our song that he played. The song that once made me happy then for so many years so sad. I was starting to feel the happiness in the song again. Maybe its lyrics still hold true. How was that? This was our song. It hadn't felt right to play it in so long. But now, it's never felt better. Okay. It was great. I think we've got it. Look, here's a little preview for you. What, is he going to like it? It looks amazing. You bet. Good. Thank you. She's so happy. See, what are you doing? Sharing a clip on my epigram. I wonder if the fans are going to like it. Are they going to love it? Oh, my wow, people are saying it looks incredible. I knew you'd crush it. Thanks. Hey, remember how I'd always sing this song to you? I do. Felt good to do it once again. Thanks for letting me live my dream today, Noel. Thanks for being the best director I could ask for. Okay. Okay, the sparks are flying. Between the two of them, after recording the music video, Noel tagged along back to the coffee shop. Noel, you don't even like coffee. Who said I came here for the coffee? I helped with your documentary, but now I've got to do work. Well, not for much longer, apparently. Well, after work, I have plans for all of us. Miranda, what are you doing here? When did she just walk in? <laughs> I know you got some bummer news today, so I've made plans for us tonight to cheer you up. Should I be scared? No, silly. Caroling. Caroling. You know, Miranda, that's one of Holly's favorite Christmas activities. Okay, it really was. I never miss a year. Yep, you guys should join me and Derek tonight and we can all go together. So you're telling me that the rock star over here is invited, so of course he is. Oh hush, I'd love to go caroling with you all. And after we can head to my place for a small get together. Fine. No, you're allowed to come, but only because I'm in a good mood. Don't even try all that, girl. Don't even try all that. It's fine. What should I wear for tonight? What's this? It's an outfit from Noel. I'm excited to go caroling with you again like we used to. You'd always shine so bright as you sing, but always wanted an official caroling dress. I remember you used to dream about the velvet red one at the dress shop on Main Street, but it was too expensive. But I always wanted to get it for you. And now that I can, I did. You deserve to have the caroling dress of your dreams. Hope you like it, Noel. I'll admit it. This is really nice of him to do. What did he, okay, so he got her little Christmas outfit. It's just how I remembered it. Ding dong. Coming. All right, so go caroling. Holly, I'm wow. You look really beautiful. Noel, I thought I was going to meet you there. I thought you might want to ride over. And not going to lie, I'm really glad I got to see you in that dress. You look incredible, Holly. Are you going to wear, um, I'm sorry. Uh, no, you weren't setting me up like that. I'm wearing something else. Of course, I'll meet you outside. I thought this was a present, wasn't it? All right, guys, we only have five houses tonight, and we have a special surprise ready at the last one, so get those beautiful voices ready. Oh, she looks even cuter in this outfit, to be quite honest. Hey, hey, isn't it funny? We used to never miss a caroling together. Well, someone got famous and abandoned the tradition. Okay, everyone, get into pairs. This will be your caroling partner and who you'll be standing with all night, so pick wisely. You're right, I was gone for years. But now that I'm back to back options, my goodness, but we're going to stand alongside him. Let's go then, caroling partner. I think we're about to start. Okay, our first caroling spot was at Rochelle's home. It felt so fun to be besides my friends and sing Christmas tunes. Nothing warms my heart the way that Christmas does. And standing next to the person I've loved for so many years, I wouldn't say it's so bad at all. That was amazing, everyone. Thank you. Great job, my fantastic carolers. Let's keep this up with the rest of our caroling. You did amazing, Holly. You always did have a beautiful voice. <laughs> You're not too bad yourself, Noel. It's good. You're not so bad yourself. Oh, she gave a little wink at the end. Christmas is nostalgic. It'll remind you of the good moments, not the bad. I think I'll let the Christmas cheer bring down my walls a bit for a time. They're going to be down permanently. Don't even play. Don't even play Holly. It's going to be Holly Jolly Christmas for you. All night we sing our hearts out in Christmas spirit. We talked. We laughed. And in between, I was starting to see glimpses of a person I once knew. Well, that was the second to last house. Next is the party house. Oh, she's right and she's ready. I mean, she already wrote it, but she's ready. All right, calm down, you nuts. Save those. Oh, they gonna have a little extra sleigh ride. 
Don't even act so shocked. You know she's pregnant. You know I always do. Ew, gotta go. What she said. Okay, off the- Oh, ooh. Are you okay? Ugh. Poor Holly went tumbling. Uh, just get up, girl. <laughs> you don't need nobody. Thanks, Noel. Of course. Oh, and the flirts. He's just flirting. Oh, this is cute. Felt strange being in Noel's house again. Almost like I was a guest in my home. I used to spend every night and every day here. And now this place was familiar yet so unfamiliar at the same time, which makes absolutely no sense, I know. He brought you some of your special cocoa. You remember? Oh, he does. Of course, 10 marshmallows and a pinch of peppermint. Oh, he, oh, so he does know. Okay, he remembered. Okay. Mm, I gotta say I'm impressed. Oh, she's loving it. That sounds actually really good right now, I'm not even gonna lie. Is your mom okay? She keeps staring at us. Oh, she's hype. Especially after Miss Claire came and she saw that awful human, kicked her to the curb. Holly's Jesus now. It's cause she misses you. She does? Yeah, she misses talking to you. She misses having you around. She misses the way the world felt with you in it. Honestly, I don't think I've gone a day without missing you. You said, I, that time. I know. Oh, he knows. Hey, Noel, we're gonna head out, but thank you for having us over. Of course, thank you for coming. Everyone's going home, but this is the nicest night I've had in a while. I really don't want it to end. Hey, Holly, what are you thinking about? Um, well, I got some difficult news today and I just... What? <laughs> I'm not ready to go home yet. Okay, then let's keep this night going. Really? Of course. Tell me, if you could do anything in the world right now, what would it be? Ice skating. I can't skate for the life of me, let alone ice skating. No, really. Really? Okay, then ice skating it is. But isn't the rink closed by now? It usually is, but I have a friend who can get us in. No way. Ice skating after dark with Noah. That's the perfect way to keep this night going. Oh, they're going to set us up for some more ice skating experience. Oh, oh, girl, you're going to hurt yourself. We're not doing none of this. What do you say, Holly? I'm rather going home. <laughs> but I really appreciate you trying to be here for me. Noah. you ain't catching me breaking my back. Yeah, of course. Do I smell donuts from Lenny's? Oh, donuts smell. They're really trying to get me with these sweets right now. There's my beautiful daughter. Yes, I picked some up this morning. I figured you could use it after that encounter with Mrs. Underwood. You're my hero. You're my hero. I can't get to my car. But why not? Just come look. Um, what? Holly over there. Smile for me, Holly. Holly, look over here. Holly, Holly. And the paparazzi and Claire are gonna try it and they're gonna fail. Mm -hmm.